The leading coefficient test does it is it determines what the end behavior is. When we talk about end behavior, <clears throat> excuse me, we talk about whether the graph is going up to the right, down to the right, so that's the right end of the graph, or up to the left, or down to the left, that's the left uh, end of the graph. So that's the leading coefficient, again, tells us about the end behavior. So the leading coefficient is the one that leads off the polynomial when it's written in standard form, which is the descending order of the degrees of the terms. So fourth degree, second degree, constant. It's going in descending order. Leading coefficient is the one, again, that's in front. And if it's negative, what that tells you is that as x gets larger and larger, okay, so x 10, 100,000, it's going towards positive infinity, what's going to happen is this term is going to be the most influential term. It's going to grow faster than these two terms, which means that as x gets larger and larger, this is going to become a larger and larger negative number, which means that it's going to be going down to the right. If you want to test it, you can just put in like maybe 10, for example. 10 to the fourth is 10,000 times negative 2 is negative 20,000. And you can see that as x is going to the right, this is going down towards negative 20,000. It's going down, down, down. Whereas here, 10 is uh, 100 times 8, that's 800, versus negative, what do we say, 20,000. That's a lot larger negative number. This is going to be uh, growing much faster, and it's going to be going towards negative infinity. Now, if it's an even degree, so if this highest power term is even, what that tells you is that the end behavior, as you go to the left, the graph is going to have the same end behavior as the right side of the graph. Okay, so if it's going down, this will be going down. If this was going up, then this would be going up. So this one's going down. This one will be the same direction. And if again, if you want to test it out, just to prove it to yourself, pick a value of x, like say, for example, negative 10. Negative 10 to the fourth power is, okay, positive 10,000, because a negative to an even power is positive but then times negative two makes this a negative 20,000. You can see this is decreasing. It's becoming a very large negative number. Now what happens in between these two end behaviors? That's what we talk about in another video with the finding the zeros. That's where it crosses the x-axis. It's gonna cross and it's, you're gonna find some additional points to get a better shape for your graph, a better sketch. <clears throat> but for this video, we're just trying to analyze you know, what's happening to the right and to the left. Okay, so let's go over to the next one here. This one, notice the leading coefficient's positive. So that means as x increases, this is gonna go up to the right. It's an even degree again, second degree is even. So that means it's gonna go up to the left. This one over here, we've got a leading coefficient that's positive. So that means it's gonna go up to the right. And it's an odd degree. So odd, when you think of odd degree, you think of it's going the opposite direction. So that means it's gonna be going down to the left. And then over here, leading coefficient's negative, down to the right. So the leading coefficient's always telling you about the right end behavior, and then the degree is telling you about what happens to the left. If it's an odd degree, it's gonna go the opposite direction.